All right. We are joined now at uh, Pelican Golf Club by Louise Ridquist, the winner of the 2023 Intercollegiate uh, Annika. Just first and foremost, you know, how excited are you to be here? You know, and you won her Intercollegiate, and now you're playing in the first, you know, namesake tournament on the LPGA Tour. Just, you know, how excited are you to be here? I am extremely excited to be here. I've said it before, I've played the whole ladder of Annika's tournaments. I started in the Annika Cup in Sweden and the Annika Europe in, in Invitational, and then the Annika Intercollegiate, and then now I'm here at the Annika LPGA. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Absolutely. And kind of, you know, talking about the, the intercollegiate Annika, you know, your 54 hole score of 208, you know, that was a career best at South Carolina. You know, what was, you know, as you look back on it, what was working for you so well? I'd say my, my game from tee to green was really strong that week. Obviously, a couple of pots rolled in, but um, yeah, foremost, my, my game from tee to green, absolutely. What do you remember about those final holes, you know, and then after the final putt drop, any, any sort of fun celebrations you had or, you know, did or, you know, what, what just what do you remember most about that win? Um, I think I remember most just walking off that green and um, my coach came up to me and she just hugged me and she said, we're going to win this thing. I'm going to give you this exemption. And mm -hmm. I, it brought me to tears. I mean, if I was overwhelmed at that time uh, when I realized I won, the team won, and then getting that exemption. It was just so much great things happening at the same time. And yeah, it was awesome. Absolutely. You know, this will be your first time playing in an LPGA Tour event. What have you done to maybe, you know, prepare for this, either physically, mentally? Have you, you know, the ton of Swedes on tour, as I'm sure you know. Have you talked with any of them? You know, just what have, what's been your preparation for this event? Yeah, so I've talked a little extra with my coach, um, Hans Larsen. He also coaches Madeline Sogstrom out here. So he has a lot of experience just being out here with her. So I've been talking a lot with him. And then also, I'm actually staying with Frida Schinholt. She reached out to me right after that exemption came out. And we're like, hey, do you want to stay with me uh, during the week? And I was like, absolutely. That's awesome. Uh, that's probably the best preparation I could possibly have. And just have one of these members out here helping me getting along all week. Um, and then also, as I know, um, Lynn Grant and Maya Stark growing up playing junior golf with them. I went to high school with them. Um, just that part. Um, I mean. The Swedish Federation is doing so much great things, uh, uniting both like professional players as well as amateurs. And I think that transition makes it a whole lot easier. Um, so I'm just very thankful for that. You know, I, you, you just mentioned it, but I, I maybe want to delve, delve a little deeper into some specifics. But, you know, how crucial is it maybe for you, you know, mentally or whatever to have Frida, you know, not only reach out, but like, you know, maybe she's helping you along throughout the week. Because I know it can be such a whirlwind when you're at your first LPG event. Just what has she kind of helped you along with or, you know, anyone really? Yeah, I mean, the Swedish players out here, especially Frida, this week is definitely mentors for me. Like just getting along. If I have any questions whatsoever, I reach out to them. They help me through everything, um, and it's just making it so much easier for me just being out here. Absolutely. All right, we'll go ahead and open did, it up. Did you know an exemption into this event was in the mix when you were in contention at the collegiate event? So that's actually really funny because the morning before we were in the car with me and my coach, and I, I said to her, I just read this article about there being an exemption this week. Is that true? And she's like, yeah, um, I saw that too. And I was like, oh, well, no pressure. I'm just going to go out there and do my thing. And obviously, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my team. Yeah. So just that whole thing is just amazing. Wow. And what's the Annika name? Considering where you grew up, what does the name mean to you? And how early on do you remember knowing of her? I mean, it's, she's been there like my whole life, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. She's always been in the picture of golf and also not only golf she does so much beyond golf just yeah. for like women's sports and women's golf in general and I mean she's a legend for sure um yeah and what, what's the biggest thing you want to get out of this week I mean I'm here this week to learn and just take in as much as I possibly can mm -hmm. and just to get this experience of the LPJ tour asked like a place where I could possibly work in the future mm -hmm. and like imagine myself here around mm -hmm. all these great players. And as of so far, everyone has been so friendly and mm -hmm. super nice. So it's very positive and I just love it out here. 
So your high school is you, Lynn, Maya, and yeah, Ludwig, I actually, is that right? Ludwig Alberg, he yeah, was in that you, class too, yeah, yeah. Is it a regular uh, high school or is it a academy? Uh, it's actually or? a golf, like a sports high school. Okay. So it's like a mini college, basically. Yeah. So we get very well like prepared for what's coming next. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, being around them that early, I mean, I was a little in intimidated by them at that age. But, uh, I mean, right now they're my, my, my friends out here for sure. Yeah. So you watched the Ryder Cup with a little extra interest? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. my coach, he was at the Solheim Cup the week before and won there with Europe and Madeline. And then he traveled right after to Rome to support Ludwig and wow. brought that victory home as well. Wow. So the experience that he has, like putting into me, putting into all of his players is yeah. just amazing. You're doing so well. <laughs> Have you had a chance to uh, reach out to Annika about any and asking any advice for playing in the tournament or at all during the time you've been here? Not really. I actually I participated in her um, radio show the other day, and uh -huh. there we talked a little bit about the strategy out there. We talked about the undulated greens and how the putter may be the like the strongest weapon out there around the greens. Uh, so we talked a little bit about that. We also talked about if the wind gets blown out here, we got to keep the ball low right. um, and obviously straight. But um, that's nothing new. Um, so, yeah, basically. Okay. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Good luck this week. Thank you so yeah. much. Just a couple more from me. Uh, you know, not only are you, you know, hoping to play well and kind of learn and take in the experience you get to, you know, Stacey Lewis mentioned it uh, earlier when we talked to her, but you do get a scout uh, for SEC tournament uh, a little bit. Just is that in the back of your mind or, you know, what do you what do you hope to take away from that aspect of it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that'll be a huge championship for us and as a team. I hope that I can bring as much information I possibly can back to the team. And uh, my assistant coach is on his way down right now. I think he's in the shuttle over here from the airport. So he'll be here with me uh, Thursday, Friday to just soak in all, all the information we possibly can together so that we can prepare the most before the SEC tournament. Absolutely. And the last one for me, just as you get ready for, you know, spring play coming up, just what are some goals you have this off season? And, you know, what, will you, what do you hope to take away from this event as you head into your collegiate season? I'd say that it's such a great opportunity to see where my golf stands against the best players in the world and just see what I need to do to take myself to the next level. Um, and also just Get, kind of check in on where my game stands right now, what I need to work harder on in the off season to be prepared for the spring, and also get a lot of workouts in, getting stronger, getting faster. Um, that's always a good thing, yeah. Absolutely, thank you so much. Thank you.